So I've been receiving a ton of comments from my recent division uploads. Questions, statements, just total gibberish. Hey, apparently I want another PC as part of my own YouTube channel's giveaways. I mean, how does that even work? But back to those comments. I'm going to try something a bit different today with the format, and yeah, I hope you like it. What's going on, everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to answer some of those questions and concerns while simultaneously hitting some legendary content. A little two-for-one action for you, but there is a bit of a mix-up, which you'll notice once it starts. Anyways, the recent channel support has been sick. Tons of comments, subs, and views. It's pretty cool to see when it hits your channel, and I appreciate it. If you haven't yet hit that sub button, please consider doing so, and don't forget to ring the notifications bell and set your alerts to receive all, or YouTube could skip sending you my latest upload alert, and we don't want that to happen. By the way, I apologize for any background noise you may hear, but my neighbors are apparently auditioning for an episode of Fixer Upper on HGTV. Yeah, anyways, whew, let's get into it. I will probably have to leave some sort of disclaimer in the intro for this video. I'm going to be discussing Division 2 today, but as you can see, this is clearly not the Division 2. I'm on the OG game playing Warren Gate on Legendary Difficulty with some of the crew. I've got Agent Viper, Agent Holly T. Edwards with me, and I believe it's just one rando. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about Division 2. So I'm actually playing a Legendary on Division 1 while doing a live commentary about Division 2. So we're, we're truly breaking from the mold of the norms today. But probably the first thing I wanted to discuss today, and this is based on the comments that I've been receiving, is that just the overall stability of Division 2 is really hit or miss right now. Uh, I see your comments over there. I see you on Xbox Series X. I see you on... Uh, PlayStation 5, I see you on PS4, I see you on Series S, I see you on PC. Um, I'm right there with you. Believe me, your your struggles are my struggles. Uh, Division 2 just does not perform well for me and my setup. Um, I've noted that many previous videos, it sounds like a jet engine's going off inside my PC case. I'm constantly hard freezing. Uh, it, basically what it is is I play and then all of a sudden it'll jump out to basically Windows mode and then it freezes and requires a whole task manager dashboard. So I know a lot of you have been uh, speaking about this. I saw some comments about it over on Twitter. Uh, I know that it apparently it's a topic of discussion for um, the upcoming live broadcast. Oof, that was a good little disrupt sticky there. Um, but I know I know it's going to be a discussion topic coming up. I, I really want to see this addressed. Uh, I've been very vocal about this. Uh, I'm not shy about my feelings about the Division 2 and the stability of the game. Um, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I crashed on the Division 2 leading up to Title uh, Update 15. Excuse me there. Had a little brain fart. So that would have been Season 9 when the Division kind of came back from the ashes. Um, my game used to run rock steady, and then ever since TU15 hit, something happened, and my game just absolutely fell apart. So I see your comments out there. I know many of you are crashing. You're hard freezing on consoles. You're getting deltas. Believe me, I feel your pain. I wish the Division 2 ran better than it does. And hence, you know, you see me over here hitting Division 1 footage. I'm actually going to... Maybe throw a different topic out here. This isn't one that I normally see in my comment section, but it's one I, I see gaining some traction over in the social media sphere, we could call it, and it has to do with ETF. What is going on with ETF? When are members going to finally receive those confirmations? Uh, when are the meetings going to happen, etc.? In case you don't know what ETF is, ETF is Elite Task Force. Uh, I was part of this for Division 2 for ETF Echo, uh, where we actually traveled over to Malmo and we met at Massive, discussing a few things uh, back in the in the old days of the game. Uh, things that I can't discuss with you because anything that happens in ETF stays in ETF. It's completely under NDA. But I know one of the questions is, uh, you know, 
basically, when is this thing going to go down? What's going to happen with it? You know, what topics are they going to discuss? Oh my God, look at this sticky. Come on. Ooh, some weird performance issues there. Um, honestly, I don't have any info on it. Um, I'm still part of ETF discussions from my original participation in it, which, I mean, that's kind of public knowledge. I'm not telling you anything revolutionary or top secret there, but what happens with ETF, I cannot discuss. So, it, you know, not, hey, excuse me. Don't shoot me from behind like that. Here we go. Got him. Uh, so, yeah, I, I wish I had more information for uh, everyone on ETF. Um, there's certainly a myriad of topics that could be discussed for it, but unfortunately, I don't have any more information than anyone else out there. So, I know uh, I've received some DMs about it. Hey, what's going on with this? Can you provide us any feedback, uh, dates, times? Is there going to be travel involved? Man, I, I know as little as the next person and that's just the honest truth with it i wish i could give more info i like answering questions uh it's not necessarily like an ego thing for me like i've, I've got the latest information and you heard it here first you know world premiere here on buzz's channel um and we cleared this chamber pretty quickly here but uh no i don't have any info for you i apologize so i know that they've uh, answered on twitter that uh apparently it was somewhat delayed uh, technical issues, I don't know. I'm certain that they're probably waiting to receive NDAs back, things like that. So that's kind of where that initiative stands right now. Probably the most hotly contested, like if we're going to stay on this subject right now, probably the most hotly contested thing that I see, the, the most hotly debated item right now swirling around the Division 2 has to be massive and their... Which, certainly seems like their uh, ongoing implementation of moving certain content exclusive exotics into the dark zone of course we're talking the eagle bearer the bighorn uh, which i have been corrected <laughs> in my comment sections you can get the bighorn on legendary missions and on the summit uh, i'm sorry i didn't include the summit there are many times that i do not discuss the summit because i just don't feel it's very good content but uh, Eagle Bear, Big Horn, and then um, the Ravenous, which is from the other raid, are apparently going to be introduced into the Dark Zone. And it's such a polarizing content topic, I guess we could say. I don't know. I, I've, I've commented on this. I, I think at this point, because we're so late into the Division 2's kind of life cycle, I don't know why we're holding on to these protocols that, you know, if... If it doesn't stay in the raids, then you know we're we're violating some sort of unwritten rules or something like that. I mean, the game is in this coming March will be what four years old, and I just don't see why we're holding on to protocols and everything like that. I also see comments that uh, I I can understand, you know, kind of where the sentiment is rooted, but I don't fully, be, you know subscribe to these that if if we take these certain raid exclusive exotics out of the raids that nobody's going to play the raids anymore well i don't think the raids are i'm just being honest here i don't think they're actually engaged with uh nearly as much as some people would suspect i mean it's it's kind of a niche content if you know what i mean um and so therefore if there are much fewer players playing the raids let me hit this guy boom there we go I love those disrupt stickies. The 6-6 six, six strikers is just nasty. But, um, you know, if, if we're talking a, a greatly reduced player base anyway for the raids, I mean, I, I, once again, I've, I've asked this question in the past. Sorry, I'm going to chase this guy down here. Are you playing the raids just for the exotics? Or are you playing the raids for the content? Because it is, it's very specific content, right? There's mechanics. Uh, you have to have specific builds. Um, you have to understand, you know, what's going on with them, the different... Oh, I thought he was going to run up and just give me the forearm shiver. Sometimes they do that. There's a lot going on within these things uh, just for a chance to get the exotics. And I think some people think that just because the EB is going to be possibly introduced, it hasn't been fully implemented, but possibly introduced into the dark zone, that all of a sudden everyone's going to be running around with EBs. And I brought up this... this argument in the past we're gonna hit these guys full strength here we go tack link them boom here we go oh somebody hit a blue too just because the eb 
frying these guys. Yeah, anyway, just because the EB is introduced into the Dark Zone doesn't mean all of a sudden everyone's going to be running around with Dark Zones. First, you know, the exotic drop rates are insanely low, right? And then number two is just because it's, it's in the loot pool doesn't mean it's automatically just going to start dropping for every last person in the Dark Zone. You know, there's a lot of different exotics that can drop in there. So not only are you fighting against the RNG, God, we melted everything. Let me get up here. Not only are you fighting against the RNG, but you're also fighting against the fact that you've got to extract it. So I still think there's going to be very few people out there running around with EBs that they, you know, grab out of the dark zone. So that's kind of, you know, I bring this topic up from time to time. Let me give these guys a GG's because we absolutely crushed that. Uh, let me type this out as well. What legendary question mark as in these guys didn't have a chance. Anyway, let me let me some feedback on that. I I personally don't think all of a sudden because this content's added into the dark zone, these three new exotics, that all of a sudden people are going to be running around with these exotics and everyone's going to have an EB all of a sudden. I seriously don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, you heard me argue here on the channel that I think that every uh, exotic needs to be added into the general loot pool. They, you know, every legendary can drop at any time from anywhere. Leave me some feedback on that one. And that's it for today, and hopefully you enjoyed this two-for-one format. Unscripted thoughts paired with legendary missions, live, comment it, you know, let me know what you thought of it all. Remember to smash that sub button and ring the bell to receive my latest upload alerts. If you could rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.